hi in this video we will see a fire following robo yeah for this we need a component like chassis and two motors two wheels caster wheel and a breadboard ULN 2003 IC and this is called a fire sensor or a flame detecting sensor so uh, this is a uh, this is a normal IR sensor I removed the IR transmitter I just have the photodiode here so if you have a it's a regular yes so you can see here this is a regular IR sensor if you remove the IR sensor from here it just act as a flame sensor so this sensor the IR sensor work for a dual purpose sensor let's see how this uh, flame detector sensor works so um, I am lighting a lighter see here so you can see it gives a output I think yeah whenever detects a flame it gives 5 volt output see here so this is how the sensor works you can see here I have placed the sensor here I have mounted here with the help of spacers and a stud uh, let's see uh, so I'm going to connect the output of the sensor to the first two pins so this is the output of the sensor I'm placing it here and then connecting the first motor to here and second motor to here I'm just using the first output to the second pin okay and I'm using one uh, pin of the motor to the high volt output and this is sensor 5 volt input and this is ground sensors ground I'm connecting to ground of the IC so I think uh, we have connected all the then the second motor to here and then I'm going to connect the battery snap one end of the battery snap to the positive and other end of the battery snap to the negative which is also known as ground so let's see how this works when connecting the battery <clears throat> let's throw some fire to our robo see it start to move 